Hi folks. Well, I did this watercolour yesterday. You see that? Uh, I like it. A lot of people seem to like it. I'm going to go with oil. I'm taking a risk here. Because I'm much better than I was when I had that running with the toxic, highly toxic brush cleaner a month or so ago. Uh, so the, the, uh, the, all the, the paints I use, as far as I know, are, are non-toxic. And the medium that I'm going to use, because I loved, the, loved it last time, is um, the uh, walnut oil with Alkid. Alkid, now that's... It's a, a wonderful additive to to non-toxic oils, walnut oil, certainly non-toxic. And um, the bottle for the Alkid walnut oil, I mix it with the ordinary walnut oil from the supermarket, uh, says on the bottle that it is non-toxic. So I don't think we should have any, any effects, but I'm... Well, I'm sure we'll be okay. So what I'm going to do is, is to um, is to put in a sky, and we'll just cover the, just cover the uh, bit of paper here. Basically, this is a bit, a bit of watercolor paper that I uh, primed with PVA glue, both sides to seal it. Uh, it. It's a great use of all your watercolors that don't really turn out as well as you expected. So. So we'll get a bit, a bit of white, a bit of oil. Let's just mix it up a bit. Bit of red, bit of bit of uh, sorry, bit of cajello. Uh, deep. So let's just put it. I'll put some on here. A bit more red. Let's try that cajello light. It's very strong. That's. Uh, That cab had uh, red. Well, let's just cover cover the cover the paper first. Now this this is totally different to acrylic painting. This really really froze, especially with a medium. But you could get mediums to uh, mix with your. With your paints to make, to, to make them flow, but this is this is just gorgeous. Now that would that would dry off. I'll just put a bit of water here. Let's, uh, I need a, need a cloth. I'm not going to clean these brushes in any... Oh, that's wet and soaking. Well, let's get rid of that one. In any solvents. I, I, at the end, I should, I should, I'll keep, well, I, while I'm painting, I'll keep the, my brushes uh, nice and clean in rag. I just, you know, but if this had black on it, then I would keep it separate from all the other colours. I don't want to keep it for the dark colours. <coughs> then at the end, I'll uh, <coughs> I'll um, clean all the brushes with uh, Swarfiga and Fairy Liquid, which is uh, the dishwashing stuff that we use. Quite a strong alkali dishwashing liquid. Okay, so that's that one. Right now, I, I, I want to um, sketch in the, the the tree on the on the right. I, I won't try and make it exactly the same. I'll, I'll, I'll just oh, I've got so many wires down. So, I don't. I'm not using at the moment. Uh, right, get comfortable. So uh, my greens, I'm going to use black. 
and yellow. Put in some medium with it. Uh, I'll put some houses in there when I get around to it. Houses on the top there, so that's a bit, bit of nice, bit of red, bit of that cad yellow, a bit of black, a bit of medium. So that will be uh, Put in this a, a rough, rough laying of of that bank there. Right, let's clean that brush. This is a cheap couple of pound brush, if that, from a local hardware shop. Oh well, let's put that. Now the, the, the oil is, is running down there. So a, black, a bit of blue, a bit of red, a lump of white, a bit of oil. I just love doing skies. Sometimes they go well, sometimes they don't. But But you don't want to repeat yourself, like I've just done there. Right, let's clean that, we'll get some... Uh... I've also mixed the two titanium whites, the ordinary uh, Winsor, student Winsor and Newton colour, <coughs> um, and some Griffin, which is an alkyd resin paint as well, so that all helps with the drying. Um, I see Cajello pile. That red is. That's a Georgian, that's a Taylor Rowney student version. See, this would be dry if I was working with. Uh, with the uh, acrylic. But whatever you put down, even at this stage, you can paint over. So we'll put a bit of background in there. Oh, this view does not exist. I sat down with my pencil and just doodled, doodled it yesterday. Okay, so we want to put in some uh, some of those nice trees now. I, I like red with my greens, but I'm using the black. I can't show you the uh, mixing. I haven't got a setup for that. I will just let's just put in a tree line a bit of 
peut aimer un peu. Pour le moins, on a fait les tard. Bon, on attend. A bit blue, blue and white in there, I think. Just. I try and get my horizon, I struggled getting it um, horizontal yesterday a little bit. No, it's clean this brush. Put in some lighter yellow in there, just... Get a nice now when that dries a bit, I can uh, soften it. I'll be careful here. Okay, <coughs> and then in that, we will have a reflection of. There's two, the, um, the tree line is too even. It's easy with the, easy with the water, watercolour brush. But I'll, I'll wait for that. I'll, I'll just make them more undulated there. It's just got a bit too, too even. But we'll put in some, uh, some light green on uh, here. Going to uh, to get some dark, some dark green in there. Darker than that. I won't put the houses in until a bit later. warmer colours in there. Okay, then we'll put in a bit dark.
Uh, might be a little painting. But Right, go back to that sky now. So this one of my brushes have got the. Uh... It's sopping wet. Oh. Right, I just want to sort that blue out now. Soften it a bit. It's just too, too even. I've got it too even there. Let's put a bit of colour in the behind it. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's coming up. Okay, but the house is going to be quite small, so I really do need to <coughs> let that dry. I might have to come back to this one and do it in two parts. Uh, probably need some more yellow, more cad yellow pay, cadmium yellow hue. Uh, but pale, oops, pale, let's use a pale. This, these are mostly Winton colours. Look, great big 200 mil tubes. I must that tube must be 15 years old. The the, uh, the caps break up eventually. Okay, uh, right. Uh, we'll put in some of that cad. Uh, that it's, it's only a hue. Right, I just want to just get that a little bit darker there, but dark yellowy green. And that's using the black. Uh, 
Uh, right, let's get a bit of to that end. This is really enjoyable. Even though it takes time. I say a small piece of paper but a big big area to paint thousands of acres. Alright, let's just get in some some nice greys. Just trying to show that a reflection and, and broken water. You can always go and uh, fast forward for this, as you know. I'm going to soften that without losing it. It's just a little bit too dark, I think. I want it to look distant. So I'm bringing the sky into the hill, distant hills. <coughs> right, now we're going for some blue and red. No blue in the sky. Okay. Right, let's have a go of those houses now. I'll 
I'm going to have to use my little half inch watercolour brush but I'll make sure I clean it clean it out. It's such a, it's a lovely brush, I've had it years. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so um, I want to get a yeah, I've got a bit of burnt sienna here. I'll use a bit of burnt sienna. So I'm only, I'm only using a limited palette, although a tiny bit. Of I've got um, the cadmium yellow deep, uh, cadmium yellow deep hue. I've got a cadmium yellow pale. Sorry, this the you know. Um, Cadmium red, ultramarine, and black. That's what I've got. And uh, just a touch of burnt, burnt uh, sienna. But just, just to get that in for the, for a couple of roots. Yeah, a um, bit of black with that sienna to get a bit of a, a bit of contrast in here. So my head's in the way. Okay, I'll, do, I'll, I'll uh, put a bit of a chimney stack in there. I think black is a very slow drying paint, but the oil, this oil will help it dry. So I think we'd be sort of boat cottages or something. Right, put that brush there, and now we'll, we'll put in some cajello, a bit of red, a bit of black. Queen of Colours. coming through there. I hope you're not getting bored there and haven't given up on me. Red, red in the in the yellow is is well that's sort of an orangey glow. Put that shape up there. Right. Uh, Burnt sienna and ultramarine are superb mixes. Uh, 
But the sky's drying slowly. I, 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 there's not a lot more I can do really. I think I'll just get my little brush again and put in that sort of white, white, off white canoe. A boat. Now you know I'm not nautical. We'll need to put in a couple of uh, sail. Let's have a yellow sail for a change. I don't know if that will actually show there, but probably I'll put it in. I really want to get, uh, let's go and get my mouth set. Hold on. I'll be back in a moment. <coughs> well, there I was, I'm never going to paint an oil again. You know. But uh, here I am, doing just that. Do we want to put in some little bits of stuff here? What I'm trying to do there is just to create a, a block. Now I've got my stick, I can't get rid of it. <coughs> um, buildings it's nothing really it's just a foil well, well I'm going to leave that I, um, I'll just tidy up here a bit because I've got the water up there but uh, clean the brush look at these nice Blue graves. Just trying to get a bit of a that colour, cloud colour, just reflected in in this, in the sea here, or the lake.
Well, I can't. It's sort of a blemish there. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to do any more to that. That's uh, that's turned out better than I thought. It's um, the next one. I'm going to paint straight on a piece of uh, paper, or the watercolor paper, without priming it. <coughs> Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you. And on. Do you want to figure? Do you want to figure? No, no, I'm not going to put a figure in. No, no detail. That, that's that's fine as far as I'm concerned. I quite quite like that. So, see you soon, folks. Bye bye.